Hello everyone, I'm Natalie from Numbers Protocol. At Numbers, we are on a mission uh, to build, re restore the trust in the media at a time when it's at the lowest time. Uh, we are in a year that uh, almost half of the population of the world will cast, already cast a vote, or will cast a vote in a year. There's a year of elections happening around the world. And Taiwan is the first country that kickstart uh, the history. And with its unique position, well, location that says uh, Taiwan has been suffering of uh, misinformation and cyber attack a lot, especially during the election period of time. And as a team born out of Taiwan and also with our rich experience with the global partners within uh, different countries that we believe, we recognize the privilege but also the responsibility to bring our expertise and also our solutions back to the Taiwan to nurture a more transparent and trustworthy elections. So then, uh, since the end of the 2023, our team already started working and talking to different media partners back in Taiwan and also the independent journalists to authenticate various media uh, assets, including photos and videos to the network to ensure the transparency and trustworthy of the media content. Uh, this is just a short video to uh, share is that uh, for the Taiwan election projects, we make a page where to showcase and also to educate everyone why this is needed to do so. And also that we have collect uh, where that you can see all the live photos and videos that contribute from the news media and the independent journalists to the, to the public as well, where we see that uh, the Taiwanese people who use our solutions to uh, monitor and to record during the period of time when the ticket, or well, I say, yeah, the vote is being revealed. So that's where that you can see various photos and those authenticate information that's taken during that period of time and also afterwards as well. And well, numbers would not be able to make it happen without all the amazing partners that we have been working together and also of our coin, including as well. Thank you so much for the support. And within their campaigns, we have made, we have authenticated around 1K of media content coming from the network. And also right after the elections, back in May uh, this year, there's a protest that happened in Taiwan where we call it uh, Bluebird Movement. One of the, uh, one of the member of legislation Yuan who used our solutions to authenticate, to archive one of the uh, amendment motions, documents in our network as well, so where that he sees he wanna like show, he wanna uh, archive those documents to preserve that trueness at that moment. And of course, right after that, uh, we also continue working with the elections uh, in India and also in Indonesia as well. And by far, as that uh, Taiwan has been, uh, let's say, a country where we care about democracy a lot, and also we are fighting for it. Uh, Ten years ago, uh, Taiwan has a more a protest. We call it sunflower, where it's anniversary anniversary year this year. So we also working with lo local news media that we authenticate around. 2K of media content, which by far the, for, the, the biggest ones uh, in the world as well for us. Uh, we, will be able, we will be also be able to share our experience uh, with the more news media and also with the global audience as well. And that's room out back a bit more in a global stage where I think, I think, I believe that some of us, well, most of us here probably already vote or or we are gonna vote uh, by the end of the year. And we already see that, I mean, all the, all the discussion right now is all about how AI effects and misinformation has been uh, changing our perspective toward media as well and how we trust the media content. Even most of the creators out there is also having a difficulty of how they can promote or how they can actually share their content with the external world 
not to be afraid of losing their copyright at the same time. So then we are both as individuals and business, we are having more challenges than ever, like how easy media content can be manipulated, how mixed information can, can be spread out from different uh, social media platforms as well. So then uh, this all comes down to one fundamental problem, which is trust. And at our teams that we believe that transparency, so provenance is the key to rebuild the trust. And numbers since the day one that we start, uh, we are the early member of C2PA, which is an initiative started by Adobe and the other tech company, which they advocate and educate about the importance of provenance. And what numbers do here is basically we enhance C2PA with a blockchain record, which is immutable and transparent. And to allow business to easily to adopt and also to integrate uh, these solutions into that we develop Capture, which is also uh, an all-in-one solution that help business and individual to authenticate their media content. And the solutions cover from mobile interface, desktop solution to SDK, and we even have the widgets to showcase those provenance data on your website directly. So it enhances the trust from between your reader and also your brand as well. And we verify the chain of creativity from the media content itself, that with all the metadata information, such as the who is the creator, uh, where and how it's created, or even it's made by humans or by AI, these are all the information that we seal and bring to the blockchain. And by all the media contents that right now, people start to have in the problem, or they say we, we are can come, come we are coming to the stage where we need to verify the information of every media pieces that we come across online. So then we also build a verify engine where everyone out there can just use it freely to verify the information. Basically, you can bring the media content that you came across online and bring to this verify engine, just throw in, and then it will give you the exact image result and similar image result where you can click and view more to see all the metadata information that helps you to make an informed decision based on what you read. And just wanna share some of the use case that we did here that back in, uh, a couple years ago that we worked with Reuters to document the U.S. present election back then, and also that uh, some of the journalists uh, who are conducting those research and uh, collecting those information during the Ukraine war times. And of course, the project with the Rolling Stone, which they preserve and archive those evidence back then to the chain. One special case is here I would like to highlight also, uh, like I think there are the other part of the world right now is also having a war uh, happening at the moment. And this project with Mom, uh, Mom I See War, which is a project that they collect the drawing from the Ukraine children, they, they draw, their drawing during that period of time and archive uh, on the chance. Want to keep those moments forever for, the, uh, for us to remember how the war has been impacting us. And of course, more of the election projects happens in both Indi Indonesia and also India. And at the same time, we are being also working uh, directly with the creators and creativity industry because they are the person, they are the creators who behind most of the brands who create content. So our solution also a uh, tether for the individual creators that can just use it directly and also to authenticate their creative works. Uh, Numbers is the team there who are behind all of those projects and collaborations, and we are building a decentralized network to ensure provenance for all kinds of creativity made by both humans and AI. And as mentioned that it's year of elections, there's still a lot more that's gonna be happening in the rest of the year. We are only halfway through, and we already work on those projects already, and I believe there are more that we can do. So we, really, we would really like to work uh, with more potential partners for all the elections happening in the next half of the year, especially the one in the United States, which is also getting a lot of attention right now, and currently the one in the European Union that's getting a lot of discussions, and we see the result coming from the UK or from the France, I think uh, 
I believe we all vote and we all care of what's happening right now in our societies. And we would really love to work with more partners that who believe that this is the importance of provenance and then to preserve the trustness uh, in, in, in what we have seen so we can come back again to say that uh, seeing is believing. Okay. Thank you a lot, and if there's any questions or if you'll be interested in working with numbers, I'll be happy to chat anytime. Thank you.